Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Common English Mistakes, Don't Just Learn, Improve. So today we're going to look at something which a lot of students confuse, which is all and every phrases when talking about time. This can be quite confusing, especially if in your language you only have one word, these two different uses and meanings. So we'll look at what the uh, meanings are and how to use them. We'll also look a bit at word order, where the phrases should go in the sentence. And finally, a bit more advanced, we'll just look at some nice all phrases, which will make you sound more natural. So anyway, the mistake is up here. I'm working really hard at the moment. I feel tired every time. Just pause the video, try to correct the sentence. And well done if you said, I feel tired all the time. So when you want to talk about constantly, the whole or the total amount of time, you're going to use all. And this is going to be the general rule. Also, and we're going to see this a lot, it doesn't have to be literal. You might say, he's working all the time at the moment. He's not working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but he's working a lot. It can also mean very frequently. And again, this doesn't have to be literal. If you say he's late all the time, it doesn't mean 100%. But if someone was late 50%, you would say he's late all the time. And just watch your word order, uh, not he's all the time late, needs to go at the end of a clause. Also, after an object, so she eats Indian food all the time. After a place preposition, so we have barbecues in the park all the time. Sounds a lot better than we have barbecues all the time in the park. The only thing I would say it needs to go before is a time expression. So we go to the beach all the time in summer. In summer, the time expression always going to be the last thing in a sentence. So that's all the time, constantly, the whole time. Let's now look at every time. This one we're going to use to say something happens each time, repeatedly, without exception. For example, he makes me a cup of tea every time I visit his house. This time I visit, cup of tea. This time I visit, cup of tea. This time I visit, cup of tea, without exception. This one you can put at the end of a clause, like the example, or the beginning. Every time I visit, a place, I buy a fridge magnet. Visit a place, buy a fridge magnet. Visit a place, a fridge magnet. Visit a place, a fridge magnet, without exception. So that's the general rule, and it works exactly the same for any other time period. For example, day. I've been at work all day, constantly, the whole day. Again, not literal just mean nine to six and we can also emphasize this phrase with any time period by just adding the word long after. For example, I've been working all day long. Then I go to work every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Again, that's not literal. If you say I go to work every day, it doesn't include Saturday, Sunday. Then I'm away from my house somewhere else all weekend, constantly, the whole weekend. I call my parents every weekend, without exception. Another example, the students in the school I work at study all year, constantly, the whole year, 12 months. Uh, but then there is a test every year in June. June, 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 without exception. Now you can use an event or an occasion instead of the time period, and it works exactly the same way for every. 
we go to the same place every holiday without exception. For all, sometimes you can, uh, sometimes it sounds a little bit strange. So saying it rained all holiday, constantly, all the time was rain, sounds okay. I would just say here, it's often a bit more natural to use the whole or for the whole. I would say it rained for the whole holiday, sounds a bit better. And certainly for something like party, sounds a bit strange to say all party. He sat by himself, all party, okay. He sat by himself for the whole party, sounds a lot more natural. Again, for every, no problem. Uh, he turns up late, every party. So that's the general rule. Always remember, all to mean constantly, the whole of a period of time, every to mean uh, repeating without exception. Generally, the mistake is using every where students want to use all. So be careful there. So let's now look at some phrases with all. The first one is all the time, which can mean from the beginning of something. And usually we use this when some new information is revealed or known for the first time. For example, I couldn't find my phone, but it was in my pocket all the time from the beginning of when I was looking for it. And then uh, its location was revealed. Here though, I would say it's a bit more natural to use the phrase all along. It was in my pocket all along. Similarly, uh, you could use it saying something like, I just found out her secrets, um, new information, but you knew all along, meaning from the beginning. And in fact, it's used in a very famous movie, The Godfather, uh, where he suddenly learnt uh, who the bad guy was all along, from the beginning of the movie or when the trouble started. So moving on, uh, the next useful one is all in all, which is basically a direct synonym for overall, to sum up your opinion. Put it at the beginning of the sentence, I would say, uh, and it's a good one to use if you're writing something like a review or an article. All in all, I thought it was a great movie. The next one is all of a sudden, which means very suddenly. Maybe a good one to use if you're either writing or telling a story. We were walking down the street, normal, when all of a sudden we heard a loud bang quite dramatic. Or maybe another sentence, uh, my cat is friendly, but he can turn aggressive all of a sudden. Next one, uh, a nice colloquial adjective phrase means exactly ready. So, are you all set for your holiday? Are you ready for your holiday? Quite informal, uh, but a nice natural phrase to you. And the final one is all that matters for when you want to say the most important or most significant thing in a situation. Probably easiest to just use all that matters is that, or all that matters, something else is that, uh, but you could use it at the end of a phrase. So hopefully those are useful for you. As ever guys, if you've learned something in this video and you haven't done so already, do make sure to subscribe. That's really all that matters to me. But when you're ready, let's practice and improve. Just pause the video and put either all to talk about constantly or every to talk about without exception into these sentences. And well done if you said I go to the gym every morning before work. Uh, the next one, uh, she looks at her phone all the time, constantly. I'm sure you know someone who does that. Uh, that car alarm's been going off all afternoon, the whole afternoon. And then he forgets my birthday 
every year, this year, this year, this year, without exception. Uh, my brother gets sunburnt every time he goes to the beach and I'm exhausted. I just want to lie on the sofa all weekend for the whole weekend. So now just pause the video and write, say, or discuss the same sentences for you. And finally, today's question. Uh, what do you do every day? And what could you happily do all day long, the whole day? For example, I do a bit of exercise every day and I could happily go hiking all day long. Write your answers in the comments. Good opportunity to practice. Anyway, that's basically it for today. Um, it may seem like a simple one, but lots of confusion with this. So always remember, all, constantly, the whole time, every meaning each. This time, this time, this time, without exception. If you remember that, you're going to avoid this mistake. Anyway, other than that, I'll see you for another video in the next couple of days. Until next time, see ya.